Welcome back. So uh, today we are trying to uh, troubleshoot this uh, Amazon uh, Fire. It's a tablet or the e uh, reader. So when I try to uh, power this on, it just shows the battery uh, icon. So I'm going to uh, plug this one in and charge it. This one is the micro uh, USB. But the last time I charged it, it uh, while it's charging, it just showed fire. So anyway, I'm going to plug it in and uh, let you guys see. I'm gonna use my power bank and I'm uh, gonna connect it. It's a lightning bolt that means charging. So it could be the, this uh, battery is bad. Because right now it's not powering on right now. Anyway, I'm going to leave it on uh, to charge and come back and then uh, check it out. The model is uh, SG9AEG. So as you can see, it shows uh, fire. Okay, I'm going to force it shut down by pressing the power button off. You want to hold it for like 40 seconds. I'm going to press this button and the power at the same time. There you go. Okay, right now it says uh, reboot uh, system, apply update from uh, ADB, wipe uh, data factory reset, wipe cache partition, uh, reboot to bootloader, power down, view recovery logs. Uh, you can try to do the wipe uh, cache partition, that shouldn't erase uh, anything. I'm going to use the uh, volume up and down to go navigate. Press power to confirm it. So battery level is too low to perform update or factory reset. So we did the formatting cache. Cache wipe complete. So if you are going to do the factory uh, reset or uh, update, then uh, you need to charge the battery. So let me reboot system now and uh, see if it's going to boot up. Hopefully we could uh, get out that uh, uh, boot loop or the suck out the logo. All right, so I fully uh, charged the battery already, and unfortunately it's still uh, stuck. So I'm gonna do the factory reset. I'm gonna press the uh, power off, keep on holding it down until it uh, turns off. And I let go the power button. Now I'm going to uh, press the button right here. It's supposed to be the volume down, but I'm not sure which is which. And then the power at the same time to get a pop-up uh, menu. Okay. As you see, it doesn't say uh, low battery on the bottom. I'm going to go to uh, press the right button over here 
and uh, wipe data factory reset. And now I'm going to press the power button to select it. You need to scroll down all the way because all this is saying no, 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 no. Until you get over here, yes, did it all. And then I uh, press this uh, on and off button to select it. So now it's uh, webbing data and then uh, format thing uh, data. Okay, now we're going to uh, reboot the system now. Press the power one time. And uh, hopefully it's going to boot up. If not, the uh, CPU might be uh, overheated or something, so... So yeah, if you're still stuck on this uh, boot loop, then I probably need to open it up and disconnect it from the battery. And uh, hopefully that would uh, rescue it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's gonna uh, boot up correctly, so... Okay, so uh, if your uh, tablet is stuck on the Fire or the Amazon uh, logo, we're going to uh, shut it off first by pressing the power button. And uh, we're going to let it shut down completely. And uh, after that, for uh, this one, we're going to hold this uh, button, volume button right here. And then the power at the same time to get the pop-up uh, menu. Ready? Go. If that doesn't work, let go and then press it down again. We are going to go down by pressing uh, this uh, volume button right here. And uh, we are going to apply update from ADB. And then we're going to press uh, this button to confirm it. Now we are going to uh, hook this uh, tablet onto your uh, computer. Okay. And after that, we're going to enter the file name. First of all, you need to uh, go to the Google search and then uh, download the Amazon tap that uh, software. So I connect the USB uh, type C dongle. So I can connect uh, my uh, USB type A to my uh, tablet. So I'm going to go to the Google Chrome and then uh, search Amazon Kindle Fire Update. And it will be the first one right here. Tablet, uh, fire, uh, tablet, uh, software update right here. Click on it. And, uh, you are going to, uh, scroll down. Uh, this one is the Fire HD 8. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do a 12th generation. And click on download software update. And we are going to open the terminal. So the candle has about 1.3 gigabyte. Take about, wow, 35 minutes to uh, download. So yeah, we're going to let it finish the download and then uh, come back then. All right, so I will have to uh, uh, change the directory to the download folder and then download folder to the, change the directory to the platform tool. And then uh, after that, I had to go uh, type in, in the terminal dot slash ADB device and he found the unknown uh, command device. 
which is the fire hd8 and then after that i type in dot slash adb silo and then i uh, copy and paste that uh, in file here and uh, now it's uh, running at 13 percent i'm just going to let it uh, run and uh, on the tablet it says uh, finding update package opening an uh, update package verifying an uh, update package so i'm just going to let it finish and then uh, i'm going to come back when it's 100 uh, percent uh, complete so now it says uh, installing update patching system image unconditionally and uh, the computer shows a uh, 54 percent All right, so currently we are 91%, 92, it's uh, almost uh, finished. Cross our finger. All right, so it says uh, install from ADB completed. Now we are going to uh, reboot the system now. Hopefully it's going to boot up. All right, so this is the moment of the truth. All right, now it says uh, optimizing system storage and application. Well, there you have it, guys. We are finding a uh, fix the problem. I think the update or the bin file was uh, corrupted when the customer update to the new latest one or something. So anyway, hopefully the, this uh, method will fix your uh, problem for your uh, Amazon uh, Fire. So yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification or drop any in the comments down below. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next uh, video like always. Peace.